Hello guys and welcome to our next Visual Basic example using the Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 and today's example is Color Slider. So in this example, as the name suggested, we will, we will be using Color Slider and we will be using the sliding action to manipulate the colors uh, of a control. So in today's control, we will be using Picture Box as an example. So what you need to do is you need to put the picture box on the Windows form. And the next is you need to put in a sliding action where you can use a track bar for it. So once you have already placed the track bar on the Windows form, um, you also need to understand that the color range actually from 0 to 255. So you need to change the value of the track bar, uh, the maximum value to 255. So once you have put the track bar on the form, you need to change the track bar name to red. Since in this example, we will be manipulating three different colors, which is the red, blue, and green. So we need three different track bars for blue and for green. So this is track bar red, this is track bar blue, and this is for track bar green. So once you have this, let's put in a label for each of the track bar so we can see what are the values corresponding to this. Next, double click on the track bar red and we will start going into the code. So here we can see a sub that describes that whenever the red track bar is actually being scrolled, uh, it will handle the scrolling action. So in other words, whenever we try to uh, scroll the red track bar, uh, it will actually generate a value or an integer which will be used to represent the, the red color of the picture box. So to do that, let's call the picture box design name, which is the picture box one, since we have never changed the design name. So this is picture box one, and we want to manipulate the back color. So this is the back color, and we need to call the uh, structure class, which is the color. We call the color, and we need to use the method called from ARGB. In this method, you will notice there are several ways of you manipulating the color, but we will look into the method uh, number three, which is the red, green, and blue. So we will be manipulating three of these base color using the track bar value. So for track bar red, we just need to put in the value for track bar red and value, and we need to put this to string, of course, because it's an integer. Next is green, so we need to put track bar green value to string. Do the same for track bar blue. Blue dot value to string. And since we have already put the label one beside track bar red, so we need to get the value of the slider as well. So for label one, text is of course equals to the track bar value to string. So this is for track bar red, and we need to do the same for track bar blue to manipulate the color blue. We can just copy the code upstairs and put it down, and we put it to two, and of course this is blue. Do the same for green, and of course you put this label tree and track bar green so let's see if this is correct blue and green and of course this is red blue red green and blue okay so i guess there's been a misarrangement so i'm just gonna move this up here upstairs downstairs and Okay, so this should work, 
And when you click start, you will notice that the color is actually doesn't appear yet. But once we move the slider, it will automatically set to blue, uh, black. So let's do this. And when the application runs, you can see that the values are not being set yet because we have not moved the slider. But once we have moved the slider, you will notice that it starts to turn black. This is because the default value of black is actually zero for all of the three base colors. And if you move the slider to the maximum, you will get red for 255. You get green for 255. And also you get blue when you put it to the maximum of 255. And you will also notice that when you slide this all to the maximum, you get the color of red, uh, white for each maximum value of 255 for all the three base color. So with this, you can also slide around and see what are the values corresponding to each of these colors. And hence, this is the uh, very simple example of using a color slider where we change the color of a control. You can also try this for different uh, controls like buttons, uh, uh, labels, and, and etc. But of course, this is a, a very simple and straightforward example of using a color slider. So if you guys have any questions of using uh, Visual, State, uh, Visual Basic or you have any questions on how to implement certain things, uh, please drop your comments in at the comments below and let me know. And also please uh, click to subscribe my videos. Thank you.